now we need to record the occlusion. That is your buckle scan. So you're gonna select the buckle tab and the patient is upright. So it's a centric occlusion position or ICP, but this is a functional position for the patient. So I always record it upright. If you're doing a splint for which they'll wear at night, then I will record the occlusion or the buckle bite with the patient lying supine. So we're gonna move and put both the upper and lower models together. That's what your buckle bite is doing. It's stitching the upper and lower models together. So we need a scan either side of the premolars. So left and right premolars to stitch it together. So I'm gonna place bite together now. So I'm gonna ask the patient to bite together, not clench. So the patient needs to just bite together, teeth should be touching. And I'm gonna record the buckle up and lower like that. One side, and then the other side. And you'll see that there's a green tick that has come on. We can now move to the model stage. So if I'm doing a bite for a splint or I'm changing the vertical dimension, it will dictate in which position I'm going to record that new buckle bite. So if I'm using a splint, I need to create some space for the splint and I need to record centric relation. The technique I use is the leaf gauge. If you measure 20 leafers, it's three millimeters and your splint thickness is around three millimeters. So you place it in, ask the patient to bite on the back teeth, slide your jaw back, slide your jaw forward now and back, slide your jaw forward and back and clench. So now we can record the buckle bite. Back to the premolar region. And you see now you have an increased vertical space for your technician to provide you with a splint. Now, if I'm doing an increase in vertical dimension for restorative reasons, then I will sit the patient upright and do exactly the same. We've now completed the scanning phase and this still blows my mind. Patients love it. You can show the teeth. Patients are really engaged. You know, the thought of taking another impression, it makes me shudder. So on average, scanning an arch should take you a couple of minutes. Anything longer than that, you are over scanning. You're increasing the file size and you're increasing processing times. That means you're gonna slow down the whole process.